Okay, this is gonna be a weird rant video, annoying video about this. We've all seen some pictures of this. So, we're gonna talk about how to actually install this in a truck because no video makes any sense. The pictures on the website are terrible. They don't tell you what you need to know. So, offense intended because I, I, you could just take, I will post pictures to make it more simple for people. This has been sitting in my truck, rolling around for like two years now, maybe a year and a half, I don't know how long, because I had no idea how to install it, and I just was really unmotivated to, because I didn't really care. But we're gonna, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you what you need, where it goes, how to put it in. So first off is this little piece, right? This is the correct orientation that goes in the truck, right? All right, you want the little flint corner, that way. You want a long bolt, and two of these bolts are right here. Now, let's show you right where it goes in the truck. You watch my camera, you go down here, and bloop, right there. That is right where it goes. So you've got your, your front V, whatever you call it, number, right there in the corner. I'll put it there so you can see. Okay, so pain in the ass level, ah. Uh, Five out of, ah, uh, three and a half, four out of four-ish out of ten. It kind of sucked to put in because my, my thing is, my truck's just old and tweaked. The steering box, I had to unbolt it just because I just wanted it to be really good and like lined up. So if we go under here, you'll see it right there in the corner. Now, in perspective, on this big beam right here, it's just right there in the corner. Three bolts, one in the steering box, two in the frame rail or the cross member I tightened those ones all the way and left the uh uh that guy uh, I left him so I can adjust it a little bit but that's the inner piece right there and now since I repainted this because it's been sitting around getting messed up we're gonna put in the back piece okay so the kit came with these two guys for the two sides going to the steering box and they came with a short one for there but I lost the nut to it so we'll figure out what I do with that but I'll get it sort of installed so you get a good idea. And the place where this one goes, I know for a fact, is right here on the back side of that same brace. Two bolts on the back, oh, well, I guess, I don't know what you consider the back of the steering box, the southern part of the steering box. We'll go there, and then you gotta drill a hole somewhere up here. Okay, so it is now fully installed. Now, the first thing you see when you come under here there's a big bolt and a machine washer that I installed. Uh, and if we go to the back side, you'll see we're now on the back side of the bar that the front piece is on. It's bolted here in the middle with a, about a quarter inch spacer in there just because that's how mine was. The two lengthened bolts are in these two spots right there. I did end up grinding out, if you see those brake lines going in between the frame rail and the bracket. There was space for them, but I felt like it wasn't enough. So I did take a grinder and kind of half moon it out a little bit in there, you can see. Cause I just, I didn't want to pinch something like I should to do today. I just, I didn't want to have the truck broken down for no reason. And it, it didn't affect anything at all. But there's the bracket right there. I'm not quite sure what that little hole up there is for. It doesn't really make any sense, but who knows? Uh, it was a pretty tight fit between the fan shroud and this. I had to kind of maneuver the fan shroud around while I was installing it. Uh, this was kind of a pain in the ass. I took it out like three or four times. If I had just half mooned that to begin with and shoved the brake lines as far over as I could, it would have worked. But what I ended up doing was I took a ratchet strap around the wheel and I pulled it that way so I could kind of bend the brake lines a little bit just because they were fighting me so much. So all in all, it, it went in, you know, any, any installing one of these trucks is difficult. They're all a little bit different. You know, every truck's been tweaked this way, and when they put it together, the guy was like, oh, I'll just put this rivet here, burn it. And then, you know, the, if it was in the wrong place, it was in the wrong place for the next 50 years. So there's the back of that guy in there, big machine washer inside. Overall, pretty happy with it. Um, I didn't have to put the spacers on it because my frame is a 72, and it has the st different style frame. Uh, for the other style frame, you just have to put a couple washers, two or three, uh, three on the bottom, and then that's it and then that would be perfect for you. But um, honestly, this little bracket up here, I think does a lot of work already. 
So I'll see, I don't know, because I have this engineered vintage uh, cross member up here for my winch. And between this and this, and my rear bumper being a piece of C channel, and my truck having like skid plates and extra crap, and, and the hickey uh, push bar bolting the two frame rails together, this has to be a very stiff frame. This probably is about as stiff as you can get them. I have been considering on the back of this truck over the years, um, a lot of the low rider, rider companies for like the lower C10s make a rear cross member, an extra one that goes back in there. If I can fit one in, I might put one in just because there is a little bit of flex in the back when you can see the flex. So I don't know, I'm, I'm, I really like the idea of the frame not flexing. It, I know that sometimes it's engineered that way. Oh, they're supposed to flex. The suspension should flex, not the frame. You know, there's no reason for your bed to hit the back of the cab because your frame flexes. So overall install, I'm pretty happy with it. If I remember, it was like a hundred bucks or something like that. I don't even remember, but pretty good. Um, I did end up, I'm sorry, I got like a throat thing. Um, you can see the, one of the bolts to the top one right there and that little hole right there. I had to kind of maneuver my power steering lines around, so I just unbolted it and did it. My VIN number looks terrible. Um, yeah, this truck's been re -vinned. So, there we go. Thank you very much.